please allow me to introduce myself. My name derives from the Hebrew word Helel. Helel means shining. St. Jerome Latinized the word as Lucifer. Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, the fathers of modern communism. Over the course of this century, neo-Marxism, of a kind, will enjoy a wide following on universities all over the world. This will not be because everything that Marx ever said is right, much less that the clichés of state socialism, even at their best, have proven to be anything but a drain on the human spirit but simply because round about some of marx's predictions are coming true capitalism has become a creature of monopoly engendering its own crises which only justifies more and more consolidations of capital and political power until it is all trending toward one big company with the government acting the part of a suspiciously overpaid secretary that the boss's wife really should be worried about the recent global bailouts are an inevitable turn of events in which governments all over the world have, in a manner of speaking, seized the means of production. It will matter little that this is only one end of Marxist thought, or that much of the rest of that thought can be easily dismissed. What is happening is happening. Marx more or less predicted it, the ballpark at any rate. And now the question for him would be what to do with the means of production now that it has been seized. My children will wrestle with this issue right on up to zero hour and beyond. Now I shall discuss zero hour in other videos. But who am I to speak of such things? Who indeed? I take this question up in my next video, Prophecies of Lucifer, the second prophecy, which will have been posted at the same time as this one. And don't miss my third prophecy, also available. Then for news junkies, I will be presenting Lucifer's news alerts about what is going on in the minds of world leaders and what may come of it in the near term. You will be surprised by some of what is really going on. I am also considering a series of talks on philosophy, as well as another about the Bible. Finally, I might just possibly add a series concerning the writings of the 16th century French seer Michel de Nostradamus, better known as Nostradamus. And while you are looking into all this, don't forget to order one of our many fine jams and jellies. Donna is waiting for your call. Of course, we do not really have any jams and jellies, at least none whose ingredients are entirely legal in the United States. But the rest of what I have been talking about will be available for those who are interested. The choice is yours. So, by all means, choose.